In this video, I'll show you how to fix your headphones are connected, but no sound or audio is playing. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do if your headphones are connected, but no sound is coming through them is just to make sure they're connected to your computer properly. If you're sure they're plugged in correctly, then it may be worth also trying a different port as well if you've got another. Then once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is just try increasing your volume on your computer. So if you go to the bottom right of Windows, you're going to go and have sort of this sound icon. Tap on it just like so, and then what you can do is go and increase your volume just like that. Mm -hmm. And also what's definitely worth noting as well is that on your, on your headphones, there may be its own uh, sound control as well. So make sure on the headphone there may be like a little dial which you can go and increase or decrease to go uh, and change the volume on. That may be set to zero or something like that. The next thing you should try is just make sure that they definitely work with another device if that's possible. Maybe try plugging them in on your phone or another computer if you've got that. Another thing you could try is actually changing the output of sound on your computer. For example, if you're just hearing nothing or maybe the sound's coming through a different um, output on your computer like your monitor, then you can actually go and change that. So to do that, all we need to do is go and right click on the sound icon in the bottom right of Windows like this and open up your sound settings. Alternatively, you could just go and open up your settings on your computer and then go and tap on system and then go down to sound. So there are two ways of getting there. Then what you need to do is go um, and locate, choose where to play sound. And as you can see, I've got these three different options here. And when you plug in another device, it may not automatically be switched. So if you go and see the device, you just go and tap on it like so, and it'll then be switched. If you can't go and see the device here, then it may be worth coming down to pair a new output device and tap add device. And then what you could do is go and connect it via Bluetooth um, if it's uh, a Bluetooth headset. And that should then be appearing here. And you should then be able to go and select it once you've gone and added it. Another thing you need to go and do is make sure you've got the drivers if there are any for the headphones. So some probably sort of higher specification headphones may have their own drivers which are going to be required in order to go and work on your computer. However, Windows does automatically get them sometimes. But yeah, if you've got quite like a big branded pair of headphones, it may be worth just going and researching on the website if there's any uh, drivers you may need for them to work. And as I just said, Windows is also going to have its own sound drivers which we can go and check as well. So to do that, all you need to do is right click on the Windows Start button like so and then go and tap on a device manager. You can also just go and search for device manager as well. Then what I'm going to do is just go and zoom in on this for you guys. So you go and see it clearly. And what you need to do is go and locate um, audio inputs and outputs. And also we've got another option down here for sound, video and game control as well. So there are these two different sections here, but they should be pretty similar. And then what you need to do is go and locate your headphones here. Um, so yeah, mine are actually currently plugged in, but I'll just do my speakers as an example. All you need to do is click on it once and then right click on it. And as you can see, what we can do is go and update the driver. So tap on update driver like so. And what you can do is go and search automatically like that. And you can also go and do it manually as well. So you right click on it. You can also go and press on update driver and then tap on browse my computer for drivers. And then let me pick from a list of available drivers. Um, and then you can go and choose which one you'd like. I tend to use one of the top ones Then just press next. And there we go. We've now gone and installed it. Another fix you can try is by running a troubleshooter. So to do that, go to the bottom of windows and go and tap on search and then type in troubleshoot and it should automatically appear with troubleshoot settings. Let's go and open these up here. Then what we need to do is just go down and tap on other troubleshooters like this then you need to go and locate playing audio so for me it's under most frequent but you may need to scroll further down and then all you need to do is go and tap on run like so and then what it's going to do is going to take problems which may be occurring and then it's going to go and fix them for you as well as you can see i then need to go and choose which device i want to go and troubleshoot so yeah go and continue this and go and run through it and then after that guys i recommend just restart your computer and seeing if your audio now works if you guys found this useful please consider leaving a like peace